And a shitty shrimp, too. I don't know if you know this or not, dude, but I didn't really pay that much attention to the shrimp. I got a fucking smoking hot girlfriend now. I don't bro, really give a bro, shit what the about your stupid fucking life. Fuck. All right, bro, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> this guy gets under your skin and stays there. Welcome to Online Ground, and today we're counting down our picks for the top five reasons people hate Mike. For this list, we're ranking the many reasons why Mike Majlak has become one of the most hated influencers on YouTube. Fire up! The world famous influencer was actually quite likable at the beginning of his big break on Impulsive but it's been downhill since then, so let's take a look at where it all went wrong. Number 5. He has a big ego. With constant preaching and cheesy speeches about how great he is, Mike can truly come across like he knows everything about everything to the ongoing anger to the viewers. I was in the gifted program in fourth grade. I was gonna be, I, I should have been going on to be a doctor or a lawyer, bro. I was one of the smartest kids in my fucking school, dude. I scored super high on my SATs. I like an annoying cars salesman. He simply refuses to go away. It wouldn't be so bad if all of these speeches were not indirectly trying to promote his new book. The talks about Mike giving advice on how to be successful are the worst. No, you're not an entrepreneur. You just happen to be Logan Paul's friend. You know, maybe, I don't know. By, by the way, just keep in mind, this has been my life since I was 16 years old. No clout, no money, no no Logan Paul, no blue check, nothing. And this, is, this has been my, I have been the guy that everybody has said, how the fuck did you get that girl since I was 16 years old? It's always been the case has, since I was in high school. Number 4. He acts like a man-child. Mike has racked up a long list of complaining about anything he can, from complaining about not being on the KSI podcast, to telling the third co-host at the time he's too boring to be on the podcast. You're not cut off because you aren't able to speak or the people are loud. You generally miss the cultural point of talking about stuff that people want to hear about. I'm sorry. Mm. I, I'm not to be a dick to you today, but there, I don't think there's a I'm single a listener to this show right now who wants to watch a 24 hour live stream of you doing sponge painting. While the third co-host Mac seemed defensive during the altercation, Mike's criticism of Mac was deemed childish and arrogant. But Mike surpassed himself when he stormed off the podcast when he felt Logan doesn't allow him to talk enough. Just read the sign. I, bro, honestly, but I, dude, what do you want to do? Then, then yo, Kill the episode, bro. See ya. Like, Fuck, he's walking. I'm, I'm he's, the second guess. He's, a, he's the second People in the comments were quick to criticize Mike, while others took to social media to slate Mike's childlike behavior in general. Number three, he obsessively talks about being a drug addict. I used to be a drug addict. Did you know I took drugs? I was a drug addict for nine years of my life. Enough said, really. But there have been many more momentous moments in Mike's never-ending quest to tell everyone and their mom about his long dark history with drugs, from constantly bringing up his drug past to be relatable to certain guests. I was, I was too. Okay. I was a drug, I wasn't like you, but I was a drug addict for a long fucking time. A drug at heart, so maybe he is one, I don't fucking know. To bringing up the same stories again and again, the critics paint. Mike is some sort of factory for relatable stories as a try-hard attempt to sell his book. Number 2. He brags about his relationship with Lana Rhodes. After Mike started dating Lana it seemed like everyone was behind Mike as it seemed he pulled off the heist of the century. But many saw his arrogance grow. And if you find him unbearable now, you wouldn't be able to cope with him when he dated Lana Rhodes. Fuck you do, she's a sweet girl, she's driven, she... She you makes know, you so much better, which is what what I what I am most fascinated about. You might stop eating carbs. He went on a <laughs> juice cleanse yesterday. Whether bringing her up on any opportunity he can or consistently talking about her past, the whole obsession of Mike's relationship became more annoying by the day. Yeah, she has a past. Yeah, it's on video. But on the same token, there is shit that girls we have talked about on this show today. Mm. Shit that those girls have done that is way worse right. than anything that she has done. Number one, backstabbing Logan Paul. Our number one is Mike's backstab of the man who handed him a career on a silver platter. Someone you think Mike should be appreciative of for giving him the platform he has today. Instead, Mike decided to criticize him behind his back and claimed he didn't support Harry Styles wearing a dress and it was for publicity and clout. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, 
there are a lot of times where Logan is can be a dick rider on shit, and I was providing a fucking <laughs> on on stuff like that. Like if Logan, I'm gonna be honest, if Logan sees an opportunity with a celebrity of that stature of Harry Styles, he's gonna say something on the podcast to, to squeeze it into the red. Like he didn't come off that show, and I would say this directly to Logan. Yeah. He was here straight up. I would tell him he didn't come off this sh that show. Like wow, we did a great job pushing for the the wearers of male wearing of dresses. Like he did that because he knew it was gonna get clipped. Yeah. It was going to give him, you know, a, a hand up in the fucking space. But right? again, this is just this weird game that everyone's playing. playing. Logan was furious about this. This apparently wasn't the first time Mike was saying lies behind Logan's back. It said that you shouldn't believe your own hype, but Mike definitely seems to. Blinded by the bright lights of Los Angeles, the straight up charm of old Mike seems a long time ago. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Online Ground and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.